of Bunny Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Diamond in the Rough chapter 2. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And if you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive and a kickin', feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So based off of what we got last chapter, what this manga is giving me so far, it's very Dr. Stone meets Hoseki no Kuni meets Orient. Dr. Stone, because of that rogue um, or craftsman, what he did was literally petrify um, Kai's leg and, you know, the rest of his family turning them into diamonds. And, um, and to an extent, Kai kind of has like that chrome mentality where he's like curious about like the different gems and stuff like that so we have that going on and um then we have like the uh the Hoseki no Kuni aspect which is all these gems have different power going on and I really really do love that and that that's how it kind of ties into um the orient aspect As, and especially since Akaboshi is kind of giving me that bushy vibe that we see in Orient as well. I'm really, really looking forward to the rest of the world that we're seeing. And also the creature that we saw in chapter one as well is really giving me straight up Orient. And I really, really am living for it. Anyway, let's get to chapter two, see what's in store for us this week. Whoa, is the sky really this color? Um, oh, you three sure are having fun. Oh, we're seeing, we're seeing Kai with his family. Um, they're bugging me to draw the scenery from above. Um, you've been up there to conduct a geological survey, haven't you? Well, it was only once. Hey, Haku, hmm? when we grow up, let's go see the world above together. Yeah, let's go. Just wait, Haku. Um, your big brother is going to cure you. Father, mother, I'll be back for you. Ooh. God, this art is so good. Oh, it really is giving me that Hoseki no Kuni feel. It really is. When I say, yeah, and yeah, it's giving me the Dr. Stone feel because of the petrification. But God damn. Damn. All right. Let's see. Let's take a look at this color page here. Ooh, this color page. Um, below the white sky where crimson um, and ash mingle, a journey to save a boy's family has begun. Ooh, we get 46 pages here. And this chapter is titled Color Change. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's go. Oh, did you finish saying goodbye? What the hell are you doing in front of my house? Mm, just some security measures. Security? Yeah, you'll be worried leaving your family like this, won't you? Well, yeah, because you don't know if someone's going to come and try and steal your family. They're freaking diamonds for crying out loud. Uh, that's why I thought I'd create a stone cage. Ooh, smart, Akaboshi. A cage? Whoa! Oh, yeah, I should mention that I'm getting a little bit of, um, Full Metal Alchemist in a way, too. The, those rocks just grew out of nowhere! Um, with the right ingredients and conditions, it's not so hard to make. Yeah, getting the Full Metal Alchemist vibes. Uh-huh, what's the stone called? <gasps> It's called Antarctica. See? You see what I mean? So it's like no cootiness is real. Oh my god, Antarctica. Oh my god. I love Antarctica. You know, Seki no Kuni. I really do. I hate that Hoseki no Kuni is on hiatus. I really do. I'm sorry, I have to spoil Hoseki no Kuni because of what happened in, you know, the last chapter before. Um, it went on hiatus, but we saw Antarctica in, in the last chapter before it went on hiatus. So it's just like, oh my god. It's like fate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, oh. But Antarctica isn't as strong as, like, say, a diamond. So that's very interesting. Hmm. It looks like ice. Uh, oh, if you touch, woo! Oh, if you touch it, you'll turn into ice. I like this. I like this. Huh? Yikes! Now, now I get it. Why? <laughs> now I get why it's a security measure, dude. How long does it last, though? That—that's the 
question. One more thing, Kai. This is for you. Uh-uh. Got it. Um, that was way too close. Nice catch. What is this? It's a stone called, um, Ulyssite. Wait, wait a minute. Hmm. Um, it's a stone called Ulyssite, which has uh, the special characteristic of uh, refracting light. I've modified the stone. Ooh! I modified the stone and split it in half so you can share the screen between the st uh, two stones. You can see the bedroom where your family lies anytime you want. That is fucking cool! Wow, I never imagined a stone like this existed. Oh, don't get so excited. You're not go going up there to have fun. That's right, I have to cure them. I have to do everything I can to save them. Dude, I love how these gems are being used. This is so cool. Oh, well, gems slash and the, well, you know what I mean. The gems slash the stones. I love how it's being fucking used. That's why I'm saying this is very Dr. Stone meets Hoseki no Kuni. The reason why, again, the reason why I bring up Orient um, is because of what we saw last. And to an extent, I will say with the ice, with the, with the Antarctica, I, I kind of have to bring, say it's a little bit of Orient in a way. It's because of like the elemental factors that we see in Orient. Um, but yeah, Akabo but yeah, also Akaboshi giving me that bush. As I said, Akaboshi giving me that bo uh, bushy vibe. Anyway, um, who do you say has to do everything? Uh, uh, let's hurry up and leave already. Wait, what about a tearful farewell with your family or something? No. Oh, what about saying goodbye to your boss? Definitely not. Um, so I was all eager to get out of the out of this place, but going up all these stairs with one foot is no easy task. You okay? Oh, you want a piggyback ride? Absolutely not. I'm 15, you know. I'm not a little kid. I can walk on my own. I'll just, I'll catch up. So just keep on going and don't mind me. <laughs> hmm. Hey, is that the way out? Oh, yeah, this is your first time above ground, isn't it? Um, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, this is your first time above ground, isn't it, Kai? Yeah. All right, then, um, this should be a memorable first step. Hold up. Wait. Wait. Don't push me. I'm going to go together with my big brother. I'm sorry, Haku, but I swear we'll go together someday. Oh, we got a color page for this? <gasps> this is beautiful. Oh my fucking god. <gasps> oh my god. Computer, you had to give me an alert at this very fucking second. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sasaki Sensei. Sasaki Sensei, oh Sasaki Sensei, oh my god, Sasaki Sensei, Sasaki Sensei, Sasaki Sensei, holy shit. I'm gonna cry. This is beautiful. This is a watercolor painting. This is fucking gorgeous. What did I do to deserve this? Oh my god. God, like I could take this, this panel. I could take this and frame this on my, frame this and put it on my wall. That is perfection, Sasaki Sensei. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. The color, of course, the color palette is everything. The clouds look gorgeous. The water looks gorgeous. Kai, look at Kai and Akaboshi. The color palette looks great. The brush stroke, um, yeah, the brush strokes are effortless. The stone looks beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, what did I do to deserve this? Look at the uh, look at the boulders they're standing on. Oh my god, look at and the thing that's great about this color palette is um is the crescendo in the color palette. So like you have Kai and Akaboshi like in this um, in the dark, or, well, it's not dark, 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 but you know what I mean in, um, oh my god, in, in more of, like, a, well, yeah, you could say more of a darker, darker color palette. Um, and then you see the top of the stone, the, which, the top of the, it looks like a fucking dragon. This is a dragon. It really is a dragon, let's be real. And you see the you see the rest of the dragon and it going to the sky and it just crescendos into this light and the sim um, the um, the symbolization of this is that it's it's really freedom if you think about it because it, Kai has been in has been underground for his whole life and going 
out into the light, into the, into the freedom like this. Oh my God. It's just so powerful. That's why I'm, that's, that's another reason why I'm just in awe of this. That's why I love this color palette. Cause it's just, there's just so much meaning behind it. There is, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, amazing. It's exactly the color my dad said it was. Hey, what's that thing? Um, looks like, it looks just like a dragon's head. Oh yeah. It's your first time seeing that too. Um, Oh, look at the side of this. The formation that, um, was made when a huge ancient beast was petrified. What? So part of me really wants to say that this is Nessie. This is a different type. This is Nessie's ancestor. Cause we just saw Nessie up in, um, Dandadan. Oh my God. Nessie and Dandadan was boss as hell. Oh my God. Um, so the mysterious powers of ore and gemstones are said to be, whoa, what? So the mysterious powers of ore and gemstones are said to belong to this ancient monster. Dude, that is a trip. So the mysterious powers of ore and gemstones, that's the origin of it. That is cool. I'm down with that. That, that it's because of a mystical, a mystical being, um, an ancient being. A petrified ancient being that that's where it came from I like that that's pretty cool I wouldn't mind if there were more like ancient creature or like mystical creatures like that that we see more gemstones that have power from I hope we get to see that I do I hope we see more mythical creatures that have that have different gemstones I if we get to see that that would be so boss Oh my God, I would love to see that. Please tell me, Sasaki Sensei, that we're getting that. Oh my God, I would live. I would live if we got that. Please tell me that's the case. Oh my God, please tell me that's the case. Oh my God, I need that. I need that in my life. All right, let's keep going. Whoa, um, uh, what? Did I kind of sound like a teacher explaining that? Uh-huh. Um, to tell you the truth, this is my first time taking on an apprentice. I don't really know much about teaching. Uh, so let me ask you frankly, will you teach me? <laughs> will you teach me how to teach you? What? <laughs> now we're getting an ancient Magus Pride kind of, uh, kind of thing going on. Um, why don't you just follow the same way that you were taught? Um, you see about that. I don't have a single memory of when I was, when I was in training. What kind of training was it? <laughs> I mean, you were taught how to, um, I mean, how were you taught to cook? Uh, I just learned uh, through imitation, I guess. Uh, I, wait, I just learned through imitation, I guess. I was shown an example and then I had to figure out what I did, uh, did right and what was missing when I tried it myself. Oh, I'll take that idea. Did, did I choose the wrong master to learn from? Actually, no, I think you did choose right. I think you did. He just needed to break it down for him because he just wasn't sure on how to do it. On that note, let me show you um, something right away using that method. Huh? Whoa. Oh. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> I just fucked him off. Oh, I'm going to be eaten alive. You okay? Oh, thanks. Wait, huh? Are we flying? You see... This is because of the neo uh, dynamic magnet that I put in the soles of my shoes. Whoa, what? It's a strong uh, diamagnetic ore. Dude, this is fucking cool. I explosively increased the, uh, increased the diamagnetism. Uh, uh, thus, um, uh, the repulsion from the ground's magnetic field allows me to fly. Dude, that is freaking cool. You see what I mean? How this is very like Dr. Stone meets Soseki no Kuni in this way? Dude! Dude! I could see Senku doing shit like this. I really could! Oh, this is awesome. Dude, can we get this at Dr. Stone? I want this. Well, this is more like, you know what? I wouldn't say this is like Hoseki no Kuni. This is more like an Orient type of thing more than Hoseki no Kuni. When we get like, when we get elements like this, this is more of an, I would say this is more Orient than, um, than Dr. Stone and Hoseki no Kuni. When we see stone, like this mythical stuff with the, uh, with the gem, with the, uh, the, with the stones and the gems, this is where it's more Orient, not Dr. Stone. I'm sorry. 
Wow, that explanation was pretty master-like. Really? Hey, look out ahead of you. Uh-oh. Upheaval. Woo! Hey, it's not working. In that case, first. Crush, too. Now we're getting into the Orient stuff. Whoa, I'm starting to kind of get it now. What the ore craftsman's abilities um, uh, to manipulate stone really means. Uh, there are five, um, oh my god, I'm going There are two basic types of manipulation. One is drawing out the natural properties of a stone like magnetism and remolding the sh uh, shape of a stone itself. And the other, what? That's right, aquamarine is to harness the power of gemstones. Dude. This art, Sasaki Sensei, is everything, but man, I'm really digging this lore. I am. Torm uh, tourmaline. Ooh. It turned. Dude, it turned to sand. Holy shit, it turned to sand. What? And right here is the most thrilling part of exterminating these monsters. Us ore craftsmen make a living by. Wait, what? Us or craftsmen make a living by picking stones from ancient petrified beasts. In a sense, it's your true calling. Wait, 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 hold up. What, 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 what? So. Hold up. Hold up, let me see this. Did it come from the rock? Uh, dude, this is freaking crazy. Oh my God, so we are gonna, s dude. Dude, this is fucking crazy. I really do hope that we're good. We're, are we just going to see more creatures like this? Now that it's from, um, now that's it for my example. Um, it's your turn to try the real deal. Huh? Really? A real deal? Dude. Huh? Do your best to defeat it. Mm hmm? Dude, is that an orc? Uh, well, I definitely chose the wrong master. Hmm? What should I do? What should I do? Now, yeah, this is where it's giving me some full metal alchemist shit. Um, even if I turn that thing into a diamond, that'd do nothing. Uh, that'd do nothing. Oh, no, hold on a sec. That's right. I'll turn, um, it'll turn to sand in the end. I'll aim for that instead. Dude, so it's, so, so will each monster turn into a different type of gem? Okay. That's pretty goddamn cool. But is it? Just, th there's got to be more beyond this island. There's got to be more. I really hope there's more beyond this. Like, I think there is. Take this. Oop, that was pathetic. <laughs> the ore craftsman uses his own energy and guiding force. Um, you, Oh, we got to use the force, huh? Uh, the ore craftsman uses his own energy and guiding force to draw out a stone's um, inherent ability and to change uh, the shape of a stone. Yeah, you know what? I said I think I said this last chapter too. I forgot to mention this. To an extent, yeah, we got a little bit of build king up in here too. It, 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 <laughs> yes, we do. However, um, it's another story when using the power of a gemstone in order tr to try its power. The most one must um, attune to the guiding force already contained within the gemstone itself. So with um, with Kai. Kai has a gem, a huge ass gemstone with a, <laughs> on him. He's got to draw from that, dude. Kai has a huge power source. Um, so like, there's a gemstone, a tune, and it emerges as the power of fire. This is tu this tuning is no easy task. Um, the guiding force can um. Uh, the guiding force can be home with training, but tuning comes down to compatibility and talent. His power isn't strong, but the fact he's, a he's able to um, use it already means he's a formidable student. God, ink! God damn it, what am I supposed to do now? Crap, it's a dead end! Use the force, Kai! Use the force! Think, think, how can I deal some major damage to this thing? Something? That's it! Now, we, now he's cornered. Might be time to give up soon. Hmm? 
transforming the wall behind him into a diamond? Ooh, okay. Ooh. Is this his limit? Let's see. Um, take this. By its foot? Yeah. Oof, it's got a hurt tripping right there. <laughs> Tripping right there. <laughs> yes. Woohoo, I got one of them. Uh, what? No, I didn't think over yet. Ruby Glow. Ooh. Sasaki Sensei, that glittering dust is gorgeous. Oh my god. Nice work, Kai. You must be Kai? Oh, he's sleeping. Um, wrong. He's passed out. Uh, good job, Kai. Hmm? This isn't my house. Where am I? Like a boshi? Hmm? <gasps> Where the heck am I? <gasps> dude, we are getting some, like, oh, dude, we are getting some Build King realness right now. Holy shit, I live. Oh my god. So, you're awake, boy. A turtle, it's massive. What? Wait, it spoke? Kai, um, are you all right? You're not hurt. You're not hurt anywhere. Akaboshi, um, this is old man Bao. He's my ride, um, my home and my buddy. Dude, that is so cool. He's my ride, my home and my buddy. Yeah, this is giving me some Build King realness. It is. Um, huh? Uh, there sure are a lot of creatures out here. Oh, I almost forgot. This is your first achievement, Kai. Wow. A a diamond! It came from that petrified beast, right? It's my first achievement. Hey, you're not just some pebble who can't do anything to fight back, you know. Huh? Oh, you could do anything you set your mind to. I'm a terrible person. Even after I abandoned uh, my parents and Haku in that dark, lonesome place, I still can't help but feel like excited. It's okay, Kai! Excited, huh? And why not? I think that's just fine. But I'm sure you know best at, um... If uh, your family would really call you a terrible person for feeling that. Um, oh my god, let me read this again. Um, but I'm sure you know best if your family would really call you a terrible person for feeling that way. Oh, he, he had to smack himself here, wait. <laughs> um, Akaboshi, thank you. I spotted up ahead, Akaboshi. Kai, our next uh, destination is in sight. Oh. <gasps> Woo! It's the Ore Craftsman's main hub. Um, the Mining Federation. Wow, dude, that is so sick. That's awesome. Holy shit. Sasaki Sensei, this design is fucking lit. Yeah, this is definitely giving me very, very Build King vibes. But I will say this, though. I'm going to finish this, and then I'll give you my thoughts on this. Um, Wow, that's... Wow, that's so sick. There's a city above ground. It's protected by a variety of stones. That's where we'll start investigating about the man with the three-lined earring. Um, I almost forgot. I can't let myself get carried away from um, seeing just one petrified beast. I'm ready. Uh, someday I'll find that man. I've got to become stronger. Phew, I'm starving. Time for some grub. Time for cleaning first. With burning aspirations in his heart, onward to a new world. Dude, I'm living. I love this manga. I think what this what this manga is doing that Build King did wrong is that this manga it has better pacing. It does. I really do like that we're at the new we're at the next destination right away. Whereas with Build King, it took forever to leave the island. It did. It took like, like what, like two, three chapters, at least three chapters to leave the island. So yeah, I, 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 I'm fine. I live. This is so good. This is so good. This is what, this was what the problem with Build King was. I like the, I do love the world. I love that, um, the creatures, uh, turn into gems, I, uh, gem gemstones. I love that aspect. That aspect is really cool. It's definitely the how um, shit works up in here is very, very Build King-esque 
in terms of finding the, uh, the creatures themselves. And yeah, to an extent, it's very Orient S2 because you do get like a little bit of power, um, power um, to, um, oh my God, to your Kiditsudo. Um, like, uh, what was it? You get, it's not a stone per se, you get experience points to your Kiditsudo kind of thing. That's the better way to describe it. Um, but I, w but the reason why I say it's more like Build King in a way than, um, say, uh, than Orient is how with the turtle, the turtle is just so much more like Build King because, um, because Build King, you have the house. You had the moving, you had the living house kind of thing. You had the living house that was taking, uh, taking them everywhere. Um, so that's why I'm getting, that's why I get the build, more of a build king vibe from, from, from this. But I do, this is some really good stuff. Oh, Sasaki Sensei. I love this. I love the art up in here. I do love the, I love the writing. Um, I can't wait to see what other gemstones we're going to find from the different creatures here. And also, I'm really curious what you guys think in regards to, based on what Akaboshi said, um, do you think that there are more, uh, do you think that all, ge all gems cannot be based from that one petrified creature? No way. I don't believe that. There's got to be more petrified um, mythical creatures around, around this universe. Not just that one. So if that's the case, I wonder what what other ones there are. I'm so so excited to see it. If it's just, are they just dragons? If it's just dragons, okay, that'd be interesting. I kind of would like if if Sasaki Sensei goes with that, where it's just dragons, and we see like different like types of dragons, and each dragon has different um, types of gemstones. Okay, I can go with that. That would be a, that would be a fine, that would be a, um, a good theme, I guess. That would be a good theme. I'd be okay with that. I would like to, if it's like just different types of, um, creatures in general. Okay. But I think that would be about, be better to just go with one theme, like to go with dragons. Like you have a sea dragon, you have like a petrified or land dragon, you have a petrified, um, uh, fly, like, a, you know, obviously a flying dragon. Like if there's like a, um a like a kingdom in the sky kind of like a sky um uh like skypea kind of situation um you'd have a petrified dragon up there um i like if we have like some uh, again if we have something like in fairy tale uh 100 years quest with the with the god dragons if we have that kind of scenario i would be totally down with that that to me would make a lot of sense um or if you want to just go with like something based off of the Zodiac and have like ancient Zodiac animals. Sure. Why not? Um, I just, I would love, I'm just very curious what kind of theme we're going to go with, with these, um, with the ancient creatures, um, ancient mythical creatures, uh, for where the gemstones are at, um, for the source of all the jet for, um, the gemstones in each region. That would be, that's the better question to ask. I'm very curious what you guys think, what direction Sasaki Sensei going to go in with this. Um, personally, I think having like similar to 100 years quest, I think having like elemental dragons would be the best route to go. Um, it would make the most sense and, um, having like different, um, specific, ele uh, elemental gemstones up in there would be cool. And like, based on, um, the type of, uh, dragon they were, uh, or like based on strength or whatnot, they would be like, the gems would be stronger. Like we, like, for example, in this chapter with, uh, the dragon we were at is the water dragon and similar in 100 years quest with phobia, they weren't even the strongest dragon. And obviously the strongest would be the fire dragon, AKA if it, uh, 100 years quest, Amia. So I'm really curious and it would work too, because we do have, um, in 100 years quest, we do have the gold God dragon. So that's why I'm like, yeah, that to me, would, this would work better if we went, if, uh, Sasaki sensei went that route, like, you'd, Oh God, I can just really picture that in my head. I really, really could, but I'm curious what you guys think. I'm so happy that we have Antarctica. I really, really am. Oh my God, I really am. Um, the other thing I'm really looking forward to is seeing more um, 
petrified uh, people because of the um, the rogue um, or craftsmen. I hope we get to see more of them. I hope we get to see more people join um, our crew as well. I think that'll be very interesting. I'm curious if we're going to have like um, like a Bushi kind of thing going on, similar to what we seen in Orient with like Bushi families kind of thing. I'd like to see that. Um, I can't wait. Uh, are, are we going to have something similar to what we're seeing in, especially when it comes to like exams? Are we going to have something similar to what we are seeing currently in the Hunter's Guild? Which right now it doesn't seem like it, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic and Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Diamond in the Rough content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.